Oh, hey, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, this, what's that for? This great coffee. This is wholesome. He never said that before. New Folgers is terrific. Sure, Folgers is mountain grown. The richest kind of coffee. If you're familiar with the audio from this commercial, you probably grew up in the 50s, 60s, and 70s because this is the voice of the lady that played Miss Olson in uh, the Folgers coffee commercials. Now, I apologize for not actually showing the commercial, but that's a copyrighted product, and if I do it, YouTube will zing me on it. But today we're going to take a look at the lady that was the Folgers Coffee Lady. Now, the lady that you see playing the Folgers Coffee Lady is actually an actress called Virginia Christine. Now, she was a stage actress. She was also on radio. Uh, she was in film uh, and television. And she was also just a voice actress. Everybody remembers her, though, from the Folgers commercials. And she had that run for about 21 years. Christine was actually born in Stanton, Iowa, the southwestern part of Iowa. She was of Swedish descent, but actually had no accent at all. She had more of a Midwestern accent, which is no accent at all. And the accent that you hear is a uh, made-up accent that she is actually acting in the coffee commercials. Now, if you're familiar with any of the commercials, and I, I encourage you to go on YouTube, and there's a few of them that you can find on YouTube. They're real poor quality, uh, but you will be amazed at how corny they are. And if you grew up in that time, you will, you will think, I can't believe we actually watched this and bought this coffee because of this commercial. Uh, they they portray women as as people that that can't make any decisions at all and and have to be guided through life uh, by their husbands or by the choice of coffee. And there's so many of these commercials that will actually show that that coffee can fix a bad relationship. Uh, you'll get a kick out of looking at them and, and thinking, I can't believe this actually aired on television. But it was actually a different time, and things were, were different um, in the household. Now, Christine had so many roles that she played. She was on Dragnet. She was on Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Uh, she was on Gunsmoke. Uh, she was on Father's no Knows Best. Uh, just a ton of, of television shows that you probably saw her and, and had no clue what she, who she was. But once she became the Folgers lady, this was a, a good ticket for her. Uh, she, she basically did that uh, until she couldn't do it anymore. Now, these commercials became so popular during the 21-year stint that she played this part that they were parodied on so many different different occasions by Carol Burnett, uh, Johnny Carson, Bob Hope, Ann Margaret, and Jackie Gleason. Uh, everybody that grew up during that time was familiar with the Folgers uh, commercials and and it was laughed about a lot. She became so popular from this that the hometown that she grew up in in Iowa, Stanton, Iowa, actually transformed their city water tower into a giant coffee pot. Also in the 1970s, uh, she continued to primarily work in, in television, mainly in voiceover stuff, I think in Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo. Christine retired from acting in 1979. Uh, she was active in, in her community and often was a judge at the American College Theater Festival. She was a resident of Brentwood, California, which is an area inside of Los Angeles. On July 24, 1996, Christine died in her, in her sleep in her Brentwood home. She's interred at the 
Jewish Mount Sinai Memorial Park Cemetery in the Hollywood Hills.